You're watching the Comcast Network. CN100, Chicago. If you're a high school football fan or coach or player, it's the most exciting day of the year coming up on Friday because everybody's excited to start the season. Coach Spagnoli's been there for a long time. In fact, he's, he might be the longest tenured coach in Lake County. Um, so they, they got a system there in place. My perspective as a football coach is this. We think we know what our team is, and we have a good feeling what they are going to be, but obviously it doesn't get defined until five or six weeks down the road. The quarterback at Antioch Athan is a good player, and we know they have a couple talented receivers, so they're going to throw the football. Play sound football from the beginning. Um, I think that that's one of the keys when you're playing a Wake Forest team. They capitalize so well on, on people's mistakes. Besides takeaways and turnovers, the special teams is kind of that hidden phase of football that often separates you know, playoff caliber teams. The biggest message is this, concentrate on us. Don't worry about the fans, don't worry about the other team, don't worry about what number jersey anybody else is wearing, take care of us. And if we can focus on our assignments and play fast and play fun and enjoy this thing, everything is gonna work out great. Welcome to Lake Forest, everybody, for the CN100 game of the week and welcome to the 2019-20 season. Tonight, our opening football game of the year, it's Antioch against Lake Forest. Welcome everybody, I hope you had a great summer. Jim Blaney along with my Hall of Fame partner, Jack McInerney, we are excited about this season and ready to get it going. And we have two teams that have been fixtures in the playoffs the last few seasons. Jack, let's first of all talk about Antioch. They had a nice run to the quarterfinals last year. They only suffered one loss all season, but it ended their season. They want more this year. Well, they want more this year, and it's happened the last couple of years for them. They're 30-3 and three over the last three years, so they've been one of the better programs in the state, one of the stronger teams. They have a tough run through the playoffs every year, and they always manage to do well in the regular season. They haven't lost in three years in the conference, but when they get deep into the playoffs, they kind of stumble a wee bit. Meanwhile, for Lake Forest, they've been a fixture in the playoffs as well, but a lot of times they've been squeaking in at 5-4, and 6-3, and three but they had a good season last year, lost in the first round. So they also feel like they have a little bit of unfinished business and they come in with a great defense. They really do. They have two probably the best defensive duo in the state with Mills and Uline. And the thing, the other part of it, Jim, is besides having a very good defense, they have an outstanding kicking game. Now that's gonna be a big part of tonight's game because their punter has got a full ride to uh, South Carolina, and that's a big factor. So you play good defense and have a real good kicking game, who knows what could happen. No wind to speak of. You can tell by how the uh, cloud from the grill for the burgers is just lingering over the field right now from the right hash mark. Gonna have to fade this one a little bit. Snap was a little iffy. The kick is up and it is just inside the left upright. So Lake Forest strikes first on a 41 yard field goal by Kai Kroger. Well, it's always good to get on the board early and be the first one on the board in a home game in the first ball game. Let's see how much he makes this by. Well, he, not bad, about four yards. Nice job, though, by the offensive line also of Lake Forest. Perea is going to try and get a chunk of yards throwing the football flushed out of the pocket, could not get away, and that is going to be a sack by Andrew DeBoer. And that may be enough for Lake Forest to decide just to let the clock run. Yeah, he's looking a little too deep downfield, and he just got beat right there. DeBoer is listed at 6'4", 211. Yeah, that looks about right. Connor Milliman into the game. He lines up wide right. Perret throws, and that is picked off. And going to the end zone is Trayshawn Watson. He had eight picks last season. He comes up with the second pick of the game for the Sequoise, 30 yards on the interception return. And just like that, Antioch has the lead for the first time tonight. A very poor decision as far as where you're going with the football. And then after the ball was thrown, it was somewhat underthrown. It was tipped a couple of times before Watson picked it off. You can see right here, he's looking the whole time. Here's the coverage, a man under, a man over. And that's just forced the ball right inside. And that's just something you cannot afford to do. Caden Jimenez made the tip. And then Watson says, thank you very much. No one's going to catch me going to the end 
Second down and six. Kelly Ekmanis rolls out. He's in trouble, and he's going to go down at the five-yard line. The ball came out. It came out a second time. It's still out. Boy, there are Lake Forest scouts all over the place, and coming out they of the pile it. is Mac Uline, and it is... Hang on, they have not signaled yet which team has the football. A dramatic it is moment, there Lake it is. Lake Forest and Uline with a huge fumble recovery for the scouts, and they are in business at the Antioch nine yard line. You can see the pressure right here, he just knocks over the back, but what a great job right there defensively, knocks the ball out, you can just see him going after that football like it's the last piece of bread at the, at the buffet. Here we go, knocks it out right here. You gotta tuck that ball away. He's still trying to make a play. I think it might have been Riley Mills that actually knocked it out. Nicholson had him tied up. This has not been their strength yet, although Scott has run the ball very successfully between the 20s. He's in the game now, right at the uh. middle. He'll walk into the end zone, touchdown Lake Forest. That didn't take long. There shows you the quickness of a young sophomore. You're gonna be reading about him for a while. A good young back right there. Just a good job up front by the offensive line, but watch the quickness of Scott. They're blocking down and he cuts back into that hole. They're walling off the inside, the linebackers and everybody else. The outside linebackers came up the field and he just went underneath it. A good job on the read by the quarterback, Jackson Marie. To view this Xfinity program in its entirety, visit cn100.tv for a list of airtimes or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing Game of the Week. For Xfinity X1 customers, scroll over to Xfinity Services and select Get Local or simply say Get Local into your voice remote.